Hey everybody, this is Praxis and the hole and trench is, it's all done. It's ready to start getting concrete in it. I spent most of my day yesterday on this front section. It's pretty flat in the back and then it dips down in the front. Uh, if I was going to have a door, well the door is going to be right here, uh, but this is kind of like the walkout basement side of it and that's the side that's bermed in. I uh, ran into a number, of, uh, a number of boulders while I was in there. Well, there's one boulder right at that corner there. I used that to drive a pin in to mark it. There's another boulder at this corner here. There's another boulder here and another boulder here. Uh, the way I look at boulders here in New England, because you're always, you're always hitting boulders when you are uh, you know, digging down, is uh, you know, I like to think of them as part of the foundation. Uh, if they go down deep enough, that could certainly be the case because you know, they'd be getting under the frost line. If they're not deep enough, then I guess you could get frost under them and they could actually be a force multiplier to help the ice break your foundation. But uh, so far, so good. I, you know, I've been doing foundations for a number of years and I've never had any, uh, any of them crack. You know, th that said, you know, it's only been a couple of decades that they've been around just because you know, I, I, I haven't been around that long. But, uh, you know, so far so good, and I'm ready to start the pour today. This is the concrete mixer that I'm going to be using. I actually bought this a number of years ago uh, when I was at my previous homestead uh, when I was going to be building a root cellar fallout shelter there. Now, I ended up abandoning that project because it became apparent to me I was going to be moving and I was going to build this whole new place anyway. I didn't want to invest the uh, time, effort, money, and all that kind of stuff at the other place, and we ended up building our root cellar fallout shelter right over there. Uh, but I still have this and I finally assembled it. it. It hadn't been assembled until recently. I actually forgot the wheels. It had wheels in the front. This is actually kind of a neat design. It's made by uh, Cushland or Cushlan uh, and uh, it acts like a wheelbarrow. So you kind of you know, do the mixing and I don't know, at least in theory it seems pretty cool. I, I, I can understand why I bought it many many years ago. Uh, but I accidentally left the wheels up there uh, and I've got to go and pick up the wheels that uh, I rent out the old house uh, and uh, the, the people who rent it out have been really accommodating with me leaving some things there and I went and I picked this up the other day and I didn't really know how it went together and I saw the wheels there and I was like, oh, that's interesting, there's some wheels there. I wish I grabbed them because that's the only part that I'm missing. So anyway, I'm going to be using this. Uh, this is the first time that I've ever mixed concrete using a mixer. I'm excited about it because I hate mixing concrete in a bucket with a shovel. So this should make the whole process go a lot easier. By the end of the day today, I want to have a basic footing around at least the bottom section. Maybe I'll do a little bit of footing on the top and then the plan is I'll, I'll start using concrete brick to build up the front section and then I can do kind of a complete uh, you know, uh, wrap around the whole thing with concrete and then bring up the walls to where they, they need to be. The way the walls are going to be is uh, this area here is going to be like about this height uh, and then it's going to step up to a higher height that's going to go all the way around the back, all the way to here, and out to this point. So this will be full height, and then all the way down across there, and the rest will just kind of be built up here. So I'm excited. Yesterday I did all this stuff, and I just got all my stuff laid out here. Water hoses here, electric line is here. I think I got everything that I need, and I just ran out this morning to get some gear lubricant because this motor, I've never used this thing, but it's been sitting for so long, it might have leaked out some uh, gear lube. So I grabbed this, I'm gonna pump that in there, and we'll find out tomorrow how this all went out. Okay, I just need to comment quickly on how wonderful it is to work with this concrete mixer versus what I've always been doing, which is just getting a big tub and stirring the concrete around uh, with my hands and arms and shoulders and back and everything. This is so much nicer. What I've been doing is I just put a uh, bunch of water in and uh, some gravel in there and then I put a bag of concrete mix and I'm going to show you this in a second um, and it just does it itself. It's so wonderful. It's all, I, I would consider this uh, on, on par with like eating kale and taking vitamins and getting proper rest. This is like a healthcare item because I've mixed concrete in the past all the time. Every, con every concrete foundation I've ever done in the past has been hand mixed and you know you're always pulling something or straining something and you're sore. This is so nice. I'm getting plenty of exercise lugging concrete and gravel and everything around but this is so wonderful. Uh, the reason I'm throwing gravel in actually is because I bought the wrong bags. Let me grab one of the bags that I bought. Uh, I got these. I, I, it was my fault. I don't think they sent me the wrong thing. It's a mortar mix. Uh, I thought I was getting bagged concrete. Uh, I think I just looked at the color of the bag and I was like, that looks like, like about the right one. And I, 
ordered the wrong one. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just throwing some gravel in because, you know, I, I'm not an expert on this thing. I, I, I've done a ton of this in the past and it's always worked out pretty well, but, uh, you know, I'm not a by the book expert. But as far as I'm aware, the big difference between uh, like a mason mix, which is this stuff, and concrete is that the concrete has gravel in it, which, uh, you know, helps to make it stronger. So I just shoveled up a bunch of gravel from my driveway uh, because it, it, by gravel, I mean, crushed washed stone, not like gravel with dirt and stuff mixed into it, like clean uh, uh, crushed stone. So I've been shoveling that in. For every bag, I think I'm putting in three or four shovelfuls, and that seems like it's getting it to the consistency that I'm used to for concrete, you know, bagged concrete with uh, gravel in it. So I'm gonna get this thing going, and you can kind of see the process. It's so easy. Here we go, flipping it on. I'm just kind of adding water. I'm doing it by eye. They have measurements that you're supposed to kind of stick to, but their measurements was it was coming out too dry, so I've just been eyeballing it. All right. So it's still pretty sloppy for the first, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a second bag in right now. And uh, they say to put the second one in a little bit more slowly so it can mix. Oh, this is such a breeze compared to the way it used to be. And again, I'm getting plenty of exercise. I'm lifting bags of cement. I'm shoveling and everything. But it's just the right amount of exercise. It's not the murder I used to be in before. Right. That, that consistency in there is looking pretty good to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little more water before I put the rest of this stuff in. And as I'm adding the water, I'm trying to just kind of clean up the sides of it. You know, just so it doesn't start hardening up. Right, that's looking good. That needs more water. It's really important to keep cleaning your tools as you're working with them with concrete because otherwise it'll start curing on them and hardening up. If you wash them as you go, it's going to be a lot easier. In fact, between each of these uh, loads, I wash the thing off and let the water stay in there and that's the water for the next time. So I start cleaning each time. This camera roll is probably going to end before I get a chance to throw this in. But the, the next step is I'm just going to take a little bit of gravel, throw it in until it's the right, right consistency. I was saying like three to four shovelfuls of gravel per 60 pound bag.